HMS Prince of Wales has been here conducting the development trials for the F-35B. This really is to try take the aircraft, a fifth generation aircraft with a fifth generation carrier and optimize that capability as we, as we work this ship up, ultimately for a head mark of carrier strike group deployment 2025. They've taken these really niche uh, F-35 airframes on the east coast of the US, which have all sorts of instruments in embedded in them to work out you know, where they can exploit the envelope going ahead. And really, it's all about lethality. It's about how do we take this capability and exploit it on the platform. And for example, uh, there was a thing you probably read in the press recently called the beast mode. What does that mean? Well, it means taking the aircraft off with maximum weight of weapons, fuel, in order to really exploit the capability once it's airborne. So really it's been an integration uh, at trials, but also really taking our F-35B to full operational capability. And some of that you can only do with bespoke trials. It, this is not easy stuff. The team on board make it look really easy. But of course, it's really hard work to integrate this capability and exploit it and, and operate it to the edge of its envelope. The work with the US pilots, Royal Navy pilots, is all about this uh, interoperability leading to interchangeability between our navies. And of course, what we're trying to do is ensure that when our ships, and in this case, the Queen Elizabeth class carriers, are deployed, say, in the Indo-Pacific in a few years' time, you can in integrate both US Marine Corps uh, F-35Bs alongside the UK variants as well. One example is this short roll-on vertical landing. And that really is, again, about the, the aircraft coming back, doing a, a niche landing capability onto the ship, which ultimately the day is gonna, is gonna expand its capability and lethality. So it's, it's a, it's a two-way process where we've been, where the ship has been experimenting, but also due to its location, we've also been supporting the US uh, Marine Corps 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit with some of their generation capabilities, with some of their units landing on the ship, which goes back to this incredible relationship between the UK and US under the carrier strike statement of intent, which was refreshed and resound out by the ministers, Secretary Austin and uh, the former Secretary of State Wallace in the spring of this year. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.